Bobby Wine, are you there? No. Are you there? Are you listening? Yes, what about from your vantage point um, in Uganda? How are we doing when it comes to freedom of expression? Hello, Shaka. Are you there? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. I'm happy to be um, contributing to this very important discussion. Of course, um, the state of uh, freedom of expression in Uganda is deteriorating by the day um, because initially uh, there was a clampdown on formal communication where politicians and leaders could no longer be allowed to go into the masses and sensitize them. And having noticed the treasure that we had, the music, as a form of communication, we've been using music to communicate important messages all through the years, like it has been done uh, in the past. However, of late, uh, the government of Uganda has launched an attack on the arts, uh, particularly uh, on the music industry. And this can be um, traced to myself ever since I started using music mainly to sensitize people about their rights and freedoms. It has been um, a big crackdown. What have they done so far uh, whenever you attempt to perform, for example? Well, as we speak now, all my music concerts have been outlawed and uh, my songs have been banned on radios. Um, the security forces make sure um, my music is not played on radio or TV. And as a matter of fact, uh, in the recent past, there were reports of the police uh, raiding bars that play my music. However, mm. this is not just for me as an artist, but having noticed the power and uh, effect of music and the arts, the government of Uganda has, mo has moved to regulate the arts to the ridiculous extent of an artist or a creative um, or any other creative thinker having to submit the lyrics of their unrecorded songs to the minister for the minister to decide whether those lyrics can be recorded or not. And indeed, the government is also proposing that the, an artist must seek permission from the government before they travel out of Uganda to perform. To the rest of the world, this is a ridiculous move. But indeed, uh, that's how the government of Uganda has always been trying to legitimize its repression. This is being uh, mooted while uh, at the same time um, it is being uh, outlaid on the people. For example, I cannot perform. And this is a move to see, the, uh, to see that the government can actually legitimize the oppression that is already ongoing. Um, I have been told uh, uh, by John here that uh, Freedom House, uh, when it came to Uganda, uh, that it decided uh, to move Uganda from the category of partly free to not free. Would that be an accurate reflection of where you are? Well, um, indeed, I agree with them because our country is not free. But again, I refuse to concede because I know, I am convinced, and in, indeed, many of the members of my generations believe that they were born free and they must live free. Now, I have uh, a question for you, uh, Bobby Wine, uh, from uh, a fellow Ugandan by the name Akankunda Moses. Uh, yeah. And it says, now, what will Bobby Wine talk about freedom of expression in Africa? He's one of those creating intimidation, blackmailing, insulting the sitting government leaders. Let him first condemn the acts of hooliganism in his camp. Then he can talk about freedom in Africa. How do you react to that? Well, I would say um, if it's rule of law, if whatever I'm saying is breaking the law, I should be apprehended and prosecuted. But wherever there's no rule of law, um, the regime uses people to brand others that seek for their own freedom as hooligans or as trouble causers. Like it has always been said, nobody has ever changed the world without having to be branded a trouble causer. 
every time we raise our voices, there's no justification or no reason that is given for our oppression other than being dismissed. Thank you very much.